Hello folks. So a couple years ago I was involved in a thread on SVT performance discussing the ATS Brembos and one of the questions that came up in the beginning was how to even the brake bias out a little bit because the ATS Brembos were causing quite a bit of front bias um, and so I started looking around trying to see what sort of factory offerings were there for a rear caliper. Um, what you're looking at here is the standard SN95 Cobra disc brake kit, 11.65-inch uh, rotors, and a 38-millimeter caliper. Um, searching around, I happened to notice that 97.4 Taurus caliper was very similar to the SN95 caliper. Um, I, I found an image on Google. I said, let's get one and see if it fits. Uh, so let's get this wheel off and dive into it just a little bit more. So here's your standard SN95 brake setup. This happens to be the Cobra style brakes. Uh, these Taurus calipers will work with either the GTV6 brakes, which I believe are 10 and a half inch um, solid units, or the 11.6 inch, 5 inch uh, Cobra units, which are vented. So your typical SN95, this is actually an aftermarket casting. Um, but if you look, let me see if I get there, they will typically have a 38 cast in this spot. Um, that's letting you know the piston size in these units, which is 38 millimeter. Now, one thing to point out is that this portion here of the SN95 caliper is the same on every model made from 1994 through 2004. So if you get a GT, a 90, uh, 94 GT, it's the same calipers, uh, 98 V6. Same caliper as what will come on a 2004 Cobra. The only thing that changed is this bracket right here, this U-shaped bracket. Uh, this is the Cobra style one, which is connected in the front, uh, but it's also slightly wider here to allow for the Cobra rotor to pass. The GTV6 ones lack this connection here in the front, and they are also slightly narrower. So here's a closer look at the Taurus caliper. Um, now the years, specified i'm not 100 percent sure on but i believe these calipers came on 93 through 90 i want to say 97 and 98 ford taurus mercury sable and the lincoln continental i believe it came on all models it was the only rear brake option available um, i specified a 97 ford taurus and this is what i got this is a cardone reman it did not come with the pad abutment bracket which i'll get to later um, but basically, this is the this is the caliper, and if you notice, it looks very similar to the SN95 casting. This is a Ford casting. The the car, the casting on my car, unfortunately, is an aftermarket casting. But you'll notice this has Ford, it has Varga. Varga is the company that makes the caliper, and it has 43 cast here. 43 refers to the size of the piston, which is larger than what is on the SN95. I will see if I can get a side by side shot of these shortly, um, but. Quickly looking this caliper over, it is identical to the SN95 caliper. The parking brake hookup is the same. The connection to the brake line, the bleeder is the same. The mounting ears are the same. The front where the pads go in is the same. This actually uses the same pads. So it is essentially the same caliper as what is the SN95, what the SN95 has, other than being a 43 millimeter piston. Um, so some of you already know where this is going. This is just simply a direct swap. Uh, but I'll just go into detail on some of the minor differences just to explain it a little further. All right, so I partially disassembled my SN95 caliper here. Um, I didn't go all the way. I just don't want to unhook the parking brake or the, uh, the brake line. Um, but I moved it out of the way to show you that um, these two parts here are what are identical. Um, the part, the bracket that comes with the Taurus caliper is going to be similar to the GTV6 bracket. Um, the, if you don't know, there is a difference between the Cobra brackets and the GTV6 brackets. Um, they lack this support bar on the front, so they, the GTV6 ends here and here, and this is just open. But the biggest difference is the slot where the rotor passes. The GTV6 rotor is solid, it's thinner. The Cobra rotor is vented. So this groove is a little bit wider. Now, you can take a grinder and try to open that up, or you can go in Rock Auto. I believe Cardone makes this bracket. It's not the OE casting, but I believe they're pretty cheap. I think they're only $15 a piece. Um, so you would need that bracket. Now your pads, 
are going to be Cobra spec if you're using the Cobra rotors. If you're using the GTV6 rotor, you can probably use the GTV6 pads. Uh, but Cobra pads are actually thinner here because of the thicker rotor. Where the GTV6 rotor is thinner, those pads are a little bit thicker. So again, if you order the caliper like this, you're going to use the Mustang parts here. You're going to use Mustang rotors, Mustang abutments. If you're using Cobra, you got to use the Cobra setup, and you're going to use Cobra pads. After that, you're pretty much going to just bolt the Taurus 43 millimeter caliper on. So here's the Taurus caliper bolted in place. Um, those of you that have seen the thread on SVT Performance will recognize this shot. This is essentially what I did back then when I proved this out. Um, but Taurus caliper, Cobra bracket, Cobra pads, Cobra rotors. Now you could do this with the GT brakes, um, but again, if you're trying to get more rear bias, I don't know why you would do it with a smaller rotor. You would want to get the larger rotor. I know Bear does make a 13 inch rotor kit for this. I believe it uses the GT uh, V6 brake setup and then puts a spacer on there. So you could do this with that Bear kit and I believe they are thinner. So you could actually do it with the GT V6 abutments or you could use the abutment that comes with the Taurus caliper. Um, but for the sake of this, I'm just assuming that most folks are gonna use the Cobra setup. So as you can see here, I'm doing Taurus 43, Cobra abutments, Cobra pads, Cobra rotors. Um, so let me let me get a, this caliper off and show you the difference in the piston sizes. Okay, so this is a little tricky to do here um, because I, I have the caliper hooked up still. Um, but you can clearly see 38 millimeter piston versus 43 millimeter piston. Um, again, that's the only real difference uh, on that caliper portion is the fact that the piston is just 43 millimeters. Um, so the swap is as simple as if you have a Cobra setup existing, you take the 38 millimeter caliper on, you swap the 43 millimeter unit on. So when should you use the Taurus 43 millimeter caliper? So this really isn't an upgrade for those running stock SM95 Cobra brakes or even GT brakes. There's no reason to add more rear brake. Um, that setup with the 13 inch Cobra rotors and the, and the 1165 rear rotors is really already perfectly balanced at 70 front 30 rear. This really only applies to those who have gone beyond the Cobra brakes in the front and added, you know, a nice four piston setup like the ATS Brembo's or Willwood's or the Bear 6P calipers. Those are sort of where folks want to start looking at upgrading their rear calipers to the 43 millimeter unit. Or perhaps you want to reduce your rear wheel diameter. For instance, Cobra rear brakes don't work well with some 15 inch wheels, but the GTV6 brakes um, do, the 10 and a half inch rotors. So maybe you want to step down to that size rotor, but you don't want to give up braking performance. So that this might be an option there. Um, but you don't want to just look at your Cobra brakes and say, I'm going to put 43 millimeter units on it when you have your 13 inch fronts. That's really not what this upgrade is for. Um, these brakes, the Cobra 38 millimeter ones work fine with the 13 inch brakes. Um, so really no reason to upgrade. If you do your brake bias calcs, you'll see that there's not much to improve upon.